Hi, Troy with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions. We're here at Vecchio's in Rogers, Minnesota. Uh, they've got the new Tsunami Core desk and air dryer in their, in their facility. They're running this air for their paint booth. Uh, they have been also pulling some of the air for their air tools to provide high quality air. They're one of our pilot sites. So we wanted to be able to come in and talk to them a little bit about doing the service on this and really address the fact that long term we're going to make this air specific to the paint booth itself and not use it out in the shop should they ever get to that point to where they want to upgrade their system even further we're going to talk to them about regenerative drying systems which essentially is replacing the core desk and technology inside this unit every two minutes so i'm going to start by opening up the ball valve on the bottom and dumping out the pressure in this uh dryer Now normally this dryer is mounted on a bracket so you can uh, get a little better handhold on it but it does have a hex on the bottom that if, you're, if you want you can go ahead and put a wrench on it. Uh, typically you shouldn't need that wrench because it's just literally an o-ring that's creating the seal with the threads. So when we pop this cover off you just slowly want to pull the cover down to make sure that that desk and cartridge is still secured with the quad ring up in the head. As you can see, now I can grab onto this desk and cartridge, just give it a little wiggle, it'll drop out. Grab your new desk and cartridge. And literally slide it up, give it a little bit of a wiggle, you'll feel that nipple start to want to seat up into the head. So then I know it's aligned. Give it a little push, boom, just swapped out that desk in. One thing, when you're putting this end cap on, make sure you don't cross thread it. And that's how easy it is to swap out the core. All right, so along with our desk and cartridge, and there is an extra O-ring for that bottom cap. It's going to be pretty rare that you end up needing this O-ring on there, but every now and then you might find that it gets dinged or something, or, and if it ever starts to leak, you just basically swap out that O-ring on the end cap. Then the last thing after doing that, you're going to want to make sure to close off the ball valve and then go fire up your system. All right, so pulling shop air and getting a good measurement on the air quality. You can see how the humidity percentage is in the 30s. And our dew point. So the humidity is climbing as well as our dew point is climbing. And what those indicate is that we're going to see water uh, at some point or liquid water. So now coming out of this dryer and going through a new desk kit cartridge. Got to give it some time to use up some of the wet air that had been sitting in the system and to dry some of the hose out. And as you can see, the number continues to drop. It's going to zero everything out. It's going to be 0% humidity. Dew points are going to be in the negative. And that's why I say these, this technology is the great butterfly band-aid of compressed air systems. If you have intermittent need of extremely dry air, desiccant, air dryers like the Tsunami Core is the way to go. Uh, if you're looking for something that's more sustainable long term uh, or heavy usage, that's where you'd want to investigate the Tsunami Regenerative Air Drying Systems. Uh, but as far as for limited use, uh, very uh, high quality air that they're looking for in their booth for the type of quality work that they're painting on here at Vecchio's, uh, this Tsunami Core drying system is an effective tool for their paint booth.